I'm excited for today's video because today we're getting creative and we're adding charts to Notion. Now, this is a third party app and this is a paid application. So I just wanna give you that warning right up front. It is a lifetime deal and I'm gonna go over how to use it within Notion to track your stats. This is what it looks like. It allows you to embed a chart of any database of your choosing in Notion. I have a database in Notion that tracks my days and then it also tracks my sleep hours on that particular day. And what this allows me to do is see how many hours I slept on a specific day just by hovering around and looking through my data. Now this will update if I change my database and then I refresh this and come back to Notion later. I can even click and drag to view a specific slice of time if I want to. So this is a great application. I've been using it a bit and the only downside is it is a bit slow. But the way I look at it, it's better than not having charts in Notion because this is a feature that so many people have asked for and wanted from what I've seen. So once Notion natively adds this feature, I'll make another video if they ever do. But until then, this is a great third party alternative. I'm going to have the link to Chartbrick, which is this application in the description. So as you watch this video, you can follow along. And if you use that link, it's an affiliate link. So I will get a small kickback. So just wanted to disclose that. And also I'm going to be showing this example using my flagship productive brain template. So if you do wanna purchase that template, you can click the link below. Otherwise, this will work perfectly fine with any other Notion workspace that you have, as long as you have your database set up properly. So let's jump into this video and I'm gonna show you how these charts work within Notion. This is my flagship template that I use for daily task tracking. It shows me my daily to-do right here without any effort. It pulls up what I'm supposed to be doing for today, like filming a video on how to add beautiful charts to Notion. Once I'm done filming this video, I'm going to hit complete and it's going to disappear. And then I won't have any more to-dos for today. I can also track my habits in here and things like my sleep score, my readiness score, my sleep hours, my highs and my lows, which is basically like a bullet journal. And it's going to roll up the proper day. As you can see, the day is March 9th and it's rolling up the day for habits and the day for my metrics. So I don't have to do any manual labor. I don't have to go searching for this day in the database. It's just going to pull up that day during the appropriate time on that day and I can fill these things out. This template also includes things like a planning page as well as a focus page where I can see my plan for the day. I recently just checked off my final task for the day, so I don't have a to-do list in here, but if I had tasks planned for today like this, then it would show up on my focus plan here and I can set a priority level for it. It will even sort by priority level in here. So if I have a quick task that gets put over pri one, because these are things that take like three to five minutes. And furthermore, if I have a meeting taking place on this day, that will appear over Pry1. But if these tasks were Pry2 or Pry3, they'd show up below Pry1. So this is the focus page. Then we have the processing page, which allows me to quickly process new tasks that have been added to the system that are missing information, as well as notes, goals, and bookmarks. This is the productive brain. If you do want to access this template, it is our flagship template and it's not cheap, but you can find the link below this video. But on to talking about how to add beautiful charts to Notion. And we're going to be showing this example on my reflect page. Here I can go into all archives and I can go into metrics and habits. Here I can see all of my past metrics for sleep hours, sleep score, readiness score, did I process and plan that day? Did I work out that day? Did I drink water on that day? And I can go back through here and I can see all of my days. There have been patches of time where I've missed, but this chart plugin is awesome because you can actually filter these things out so that you just get an average and you get a line of all of the days that you have completed. So I'm going to show you how to implement this third party tool so that you can have charts for how many hours you sleep on average. And we're just going to create a line chart for that. So let's go ahead and head over to the third party and show you how to get started with them. Now we're over here on Chartbrick and as you can see, I've linked up my Notion database to Chartbrick and this is allowing me to see on a daily basis, it's filtering out anything that I didn't enter, but it's showing me on a daily basis what my sleep score was. 
I could also do this for sleep hours or whatever else I wanted to. Now I'm going to show you how I created this, and then I'm going to show you how to embed this to Notion. So first and foremost, Chartbreak has a really cool pricing model where they allow you to purchase a lifetime deal so that you don't have to pay for this software on a monthly basis like other softwares. You can just purchase it in a lifetime deal. But I assume that this is a limited time offer, okay? I have to disclose that I do have an affiliate link for Chartbrick. So if you use my link below, they'll send me a small kickback to compensate me for sharing this software with you guys. So if you wanna purchase the lifetime deal for Chartbrick, you can do so. Once you click that link, if you do, it will bring you to this page where you can purchase Chartbrick for $49 and you just hit buy now. Go through the onboarding steps and get signed up for Chartbrick and then you can pick up the tutorial at that point. And now I'm going to show you how to create charts in Notion. So once you sign into Chartbrick, this is what it's going to look like, except you're not going to see this chart. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this and we'll start fresh. I'm just going to hit create chart. And now I can select my data source. This works for Airtable and it also works for Notion, but I assume most of you are working in Notion. We're going to click Notion. Now let's go ahead and add pages. I can go through my Notion database and I can select pages just by hitting select pages and I can find all the pages that I wanna pull in. I'm just gonna select my brain and hit allow access. Now it wants me to choose the database that we wanna base this chart on. So if you're a productive brain user and you wanna track something, I recommend clicking on days because this is going to give us a nice graph with days as our X axis and the different stats that you might wanna track on your Y axis. So I'm gonna click days and hit confirm. Now this is one thing that I will warn you about with Chartbrick, it is a bit slow. That is the only downside with Chartbrick that I have found. Everything else seems to work perfectly fine. It's a really good app, but it is slow. Now you're going to select a chart type of line. So if you're following along with me and you are a productive brain user, then you can choose the X axis as date. And then you can choose for Y, whatever you want. This is gonna be more specific to you. So for me, I'm just gonna track my sleep hours, but this could be any of the other stats that you wanna track. So I'm gonna go with sleep hours. And as you can see, this is totally out of order. We're gonna hit sort, and then I'm going to go to select field, and we're gonna scroll down to date, and I'm just gonna set it to ascending. Now it's tracking all the days in order, and you'll notice that there are some days where we slept for zero hours, which isn't accurate. This is just because we didn't track on these specific days. So what I can do here is I can filter and I can add a filter to get rid of these days. So I can just do not equals zero and then it's going to get rid of all of the zeros and really smooth things out a bit here. Now I know that this might not be the best way of going about things in terms of statistics, but nevertheless, this does look better in a chart and you can still kind of glide along here a bit better and see your days in a nicer view. So this is how you create the chart. Now I'm going to go to customize and I can change the color if I want to here. So let's just go with this dark blue and then let's change it to dark mode because that's what I prefer. And you can show the grid axis lines. I think it's good to do on X on Y not so much. So let's turn that off. Let's keep X axis on. Then we can change the data labels so that we can see our highs and lows. We can add a legend as well so that we see what this is based on. And we can add a title and a subtitle to this. So let's just say sleep hours by day. And then let's check subtitle and we can add a subtitle. These are my sleep hours in my productive brain. So now I have all of my stats ready to go and I can actually embed this in Notion now and it will update real time when I refresh Notion. So I just have to hit share, make chart public for embed, and then I can go ahead and copy this link right here. Just hit copy, click X, and then you're going to want to head back to Notion. Once you're inside of Notion, just decide where you want to embed this particular chart. You can throw it in a toggle list if you want just by hitting the arrow and then hitting space typing in toggle list or whatever you want to name it. Let's just name it sleep hours chart. And then in here, I'm just going to click and hit slash embed. We're going to click on embed and I'm going to hit control V or command V if you're on Mac to paste that embed link. And then I'm going to hit embed link. It may take a minute to load, but just wait. And after waiting for a little while, you'll start to see it spin like this. 
And finally, after waiting for a moment, you should see this chart populate. And then you can just drag and you can click around, move through a certain time range to zoom in if you want to. And this is very useful, I think, for looking at your stats within Notion. It is a bit slow, but I think it's better than not having charts at all. So uh, it's definitely something that I'm looking to implement into my version of the productive brain. I can't implement this for everyone because this is a paid feature. This is a paid third party, so you'll have to implement this yourself. So if you're a productive brain user, you can watch through this video and hopefully this helps you learn how to install this chart if you want to. And then you can set it up for your particular use case. I hope today's video brought you value. If it did, please like this video, subscribe to stay updated with this content, and we'll see you in the next one.